The United Church of Canada's Five Oaks Education and Retreat Center was the vision of Bev Oden in the 1950s. The first programs began in the summer of 1952. Five Oaks has gone through many changes over its 67-year history. In 2016, when the center was planning to close, a new vision rose from the ashes of the past and Five Oaks was transformed into an intercultural center. Continuing its partnership with Six Nations, on whose sacred land Five Oaks sits, the center has recently added a new partnership with the Muslim community. My name is Michael Schuberg and I am the operations manager here at Five Oaks and I came to be in this place uh, because I have loved it for a long time and when the opportunity came to uh, join the team, I jumped at it. Some programming that has happened continues to be United Church focused, so we still continue to offer uh, our NEOS youth ministry training programs, confirmation weekends, Avoda work camps, uh, all sorts of events uh, for a variety of uh, church organizations. But as well, we've uh, begun to we have begun to offer programs uh, for uh, Indigenous community groups. So we've had. Um, Warrior Camp, which is a training program for Indigenous youth. Uh, we have our Native Peoples Retreat coming up. We have Grandmother's Teas and Water Ceremonies. Uh, we're about to build a purification lodge in the traditional Haudenosaunee style. We were afraid of losing the vision of what Five Oaks really is, a sacred place. It was a hard way to get on a new journey, but it was the best thing. I'm Cindy Peterson. I'm part of the board of directors here at Five Oaks. You can't smell me through the camera, but right now I smell like campfire because we're doing a youth retreat and burning lots of scrub brush to get ready for our next season and new visitors here at Five Oaks. I became involved with the board as um, a chapter was being written that Five Oaks may close. And there was a group of us, um, ragtag group, that came together and thought um, that perhaps Five Oaks could live to write another chapter um, and maybe even a different book. We might have to close one book and create an, a new book, a whole new story. Pardon? This is uh, sap. That is the juice, that's the bloodline of the tree. You know the maple syrup that you like? Uh -huh. That's the beginnings of maple syrup. Down. The sugars remain and the water boils off to have the maple syrup that we're going to go have at lunch today. Oh. So at Five Oaks, it seems to be this beautiful, sacred space where people just come and they listen to each other and that sharing in that space just permeates you. I, I don't know how else to describe it, but there is something about the energy of the land and the energy of the people that when we come together here, it permeates a good word for it. <laughs> you seem to be carrying a lot of wood today. Thank you. There you go, enjoy. Regretting everything now, Jack. <laughs> Hi! Push everything in there. I just... I take a little bit of you and you take a little bit of me and we take a little bit of the land and we leave a little bit of ourself in one another and in the land. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church of Canada help support programs like these. Thank you and please continue to give. Mm -hmm.